Can you explain the role of the glycocalyx in the human body and how it functions? Well, think of the glycocalyx like the the plants that cover the earth. If there are no plants, we just have dirt. Mm -hmm. And the dirt is easily eroded because the plants which have roots and stabilize the soil, and the plants also change the environment depending on the type of plant that's there. Um, And so think of the sugars in and on every cell of our body they're the barcode they're they they're the one that that tells whether or not something is friend or foe foreign or part of us and the glycocalyx the sugars the glycans there are about nine major sugars in and on our body glucose galactose uh, fucose, N acetyl glucosamine, N acetyl galactosamine, uh, sialic acid, mannose. There are a few others there that are critical to the, the function of every cell and every molecule. A protein is post translationally modified by adding a sugar, hydroxyl group, a, a, um, a methyl group, and many other things are added to these to these proteins to give them a proper function, shape, charge, and, and whether it's, it's soluble in water or, or not. And, and so the sugars are, are used in the immune system. Our blood type is determined by a, a sugar, oh, not wow. a protein. The, the um, sugars also determine our human leukocyte antigen. That means the, the, the thing that causes immune response is a sugar. So now these sugar layers are all over our body on every cell, every membrane of our body. Our skin is covered by a a sugar layer, a keratin. Um, And these sugars are also critical for for hyaluronidase and chondroitin sulfate and uh, synovial uh, uh, um, cavities uh, in our knee and our joints. And so most people have not heard of the glycobiome, which is the sort of the incumbents of all the sugars that are critical for our function. And, and, and in, in essence, sugars are essential in and on our body. It's not essential to eat a plant, but it's essential, in my opinion, to eat fatty meat. And the fat contains cells which are made of a phospholipid bilayer with proteins embedded in the membranes with with proteins and and small chain amino acids circulating around in our cells cytoplasms and that also are transported throughout our body but there's also sugars that are critical for glycosylation so ultimately when you eat any organism you eat meat, you eat plants, you eat microbes, you're getting some sugars in your diet that are critical for your survival. Without them, we're dead. And I believe that the, 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 the microbes and the plants contain foreign sugars. These foreign sugars cause an allergic reaction in our body, not the proteins. That's the amazing story. So I think as we look more at the glycocalyx, the glycobiome, and realize that the sugars are critical in the function of our body, and there are many diseases secondary to damage to the glycocalyx, the glycobiome, and glycosylation, we'll be open to understanding more and more about the the sugars that are critical in our body.